Hello and welcome to MFCP Woodworking. Um, I haven't uploaded a uh, video in a few days. I have a slightly injured shoulder that's been giving me a lot of pain. I did, however, make an experiment. I uh, I thought I'd take a an alder stick and see if I could make it into a letter opener that looks a lot like a knife. And I thought I succeeded quite well. Now I learned quite a bit doing this experiment. This is uh, about 11 inches long. It's actually quite long. The, uh, the stick was very green when I started. It's had a chance to dry because I worked at it slowly. As you can see, there's some flaws in it. There's a knot in it up here. Um, it's bent. Because the stick was shaped that way, I can't cut wood that isn't there. So I had to cut the wood that is there. I really like how this turned out. We added some katakana on the bottom just because I thought it would look cool. The uh, the blade is quite thin. I was surprised how strong it is. It's flexible. The idea was for this to be able to open letters. It opens letters beautifully. My hope is that I can make similar projects. Uh, I've watched some uh, YouTube videos, especially Bobby Dugart's, some of the things that he does. Give me, gives me some idea how I can make my... Uh, carving work a little more accurate, a little more a more focused. I like how this turned out though. Uh, this is mine. I'm not going to give it to anybody. Uh, I'm likely to make more, but they'll be straight because I know how to overcome that issue. Basically get a bigger piece of wood and cut it straight first and dry out, draw out what I want. More videos will be coming. So if you like this, like it, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. There's not very many of you yet. Um, I'm hoping that will increase. Uh, we'll be doing more videos in the very near future. We have a, uh, a choke cherry tree to take down. A neighbor wants rid of it, so it's going to get cut down anyway. We can use that as an example of uh, how I process one of these little shrub-like trees and turn it into material for my work. Uh, it also has an absolutely gorgeous huge burl on it, which for a wood turner is like gold. And I do already have permission to do that. We just have to pick the day to do it uh, when it's convenient and also when it's not going to fall on his car while we're cutting it down. <laughs> so if you like this, there's more on the way. We'll get a nice close-up here of this on the table so I can see my handiwork. You know, you focus on that. Nice close up of the whole thing, please. There we go, that's gorgeous. Yeah. 